Want to know how to make your vehicle more fuel efficient? Find out in this episode of Stuff You Should Know, brought to you by Bank of America, where you can earn more cash back for the things you buy most with the Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards Credit Card. It's summertime, and that means that gas prices are through the roof. Yeah. Which means that you, like us, like anybody who's sensible, wants to figure out how to save every single penny at the gas pump. Yeah. And actually, it turns out that, yeah, you can drive around and, and find the cheapest gas. You may waste a lot of gas doing that, but you could also pay attention to your car. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff you could do, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks that fall under the umbrella of hypermiling that will get you the best gas mileage no matter what kind of car you have. Yeah, and these are like real differences you can make. Mm -hmm. You'll actually see a difference. The first thing you need to think about is what kind of state your car is in. If you keep your car tuned up regularly, it's gonna run more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And if you keep the tires uh, all filled properly and balanced and rotated, your car is gonna run more efficiently. Yes. You'll be saving at the pump. And you can also get something called rolling resistance tires. Mm -hmm. And that'll knock off about one to 2% or I guess increase your efficiency by one to two percent. Right, you also want to lighten your load. For every hundred pounds added to your car's weight, you're losing about one to two percent efficiency with gas. Yeah, so clean out your trunk. If you got a bunch of, you know, if you carry around all your bowling balls, yeah. you might want to just pick one bowling ball. Choose one. Exactly, that's my advice. Uh, you also want to slow it down. Yeah. N number one, that's just safer. Sure. Slowing it down, you have more reaction time. It's just a smarter way to drive. Yeah. But when you punch it at the green light, like I have to say I do sometimes. Yeah. I like being first. Quick off the line. Yeah, but I'm burning through the gas. It's a stupid way to drive. Also, I come to a really quick stop, which means not only am I burning gas, I'm wearing out my brakes a lot faster too. Yeah, that's true. So you want to slow it down on the surface streets, and you also want to slow it down on the highway too. Yeah, the difference between 65 miles an hour and 75 miles an hour in the expressway can actually make a 20% difference in your fuel efficiency. Yep. And on the surface streets, I think it's about five to 10% if you're you know, driving like a crazy person. I'm so ashamed. Oh, that's all right. You're just paying more for gas. A lot more. Yeah. So how fast, what's like the ideal speed? Well, apparently the ideal speed for saving gas is 50 miles per hour. Yeah, and that's obviously on an expressway. Yeah, and for every uh, five miles an hour you're going over 50, supposedly you're paying an extra 26 cents a gallon. Yeah. It's that's maniacal. Serious business right there. You want to maintain a constant speed? Yeah. That's very efficient, and your cruise control can help you do that on the highway. Yeah, I get a little creeped out by cruise control. I, I You can get comfort comfortable with it. Yeah. And once you do, it's kind of like, just turn it on and Maybe pull one foot up here. No, don't do that. That's not safe at all. Don't do that. Uh, I got one for you. Have you ever heard that uh, it's better to leave your car running than restarting it if you're not gonna be somewhere for very long? Yeah. Because starting your car burns up a lot of fuel. Right. That is true up to 60 seconds. Oh. That's right. If you're gonna be idling for more than 60 seconds, it's more fuel efficient to go ahead and turn the car off. Even if you're sitting there with the AC on, which I know some of us do. Sure. Yeah. That's good advice. Thanks. You can also take it one step further and really get into hypermiling and use coasting methods. Yeah, safe coasting methods. Right, you wanna take it slow up the hill at a nice steady rate, mm -hmm. and then on the way down, you just coast. You wanna keep your foot hovering over the brake, maybe even on the brake, you don't wanna be out of control. Yeah. Uh, but you can coast down hills and save a lot of gas. Yeah, and here's a little secret. If you have a modern car that's fuel injected, when you're coasting, it actually turns off your fuel injection so it is the same as idling. Your wheels are actually powering the car. Chuck, I have one for you. I have a huge question. Okay. Which is more fuel efficient? Using the air conditioning or having your windows open? Supposedly, they've done some studies on this and using the windows down is more fuel efficient up to 45 miles per hour. Oh. After that, it's gonna create drag on your car that's gonna make it less fuel efficient. So if it's a cool day, you're going surface streets, roll the windows down. Hmm. But then after 45, to 45, turn AC. on your AC. And exactly. you want to use the recycled AC, right? Yeah, you know, you have that little button there that allows it to recycle the air, and that's much more fuel efficient. Very nice. So there you go. Go forth, save gas, and uh, save yourself a little money. Oh, and here's another way to get the most out of your next fill-up. The Bank of America card, cash rewards credit card from Bank of America. You earn more cash back for the things you buy most including 3% cash back on gas for the first 
$1,500 in combined grocery store and gas purchases each quarter. So now you know how you could get the most miles and cash back on every gallon of gas you buy. 